Ta uli uli no angkat, angkat. Ta gadi gadi no angkat, angkat. Ta dalla lamane acuma no angkat, angkat. Barre na gya. You know, you've already got the vision to go. But yeah. What, what was the driving emotion that led you guys? Well, we didn't have a vision to go. Like initially, it was like. We'll never go to Africa. I'm never like I'm African American. I'm like I'll never be able to go back to Africa. It's too much money. Who can afford that? And then I spent a month, a month off at the anti gentrification coffee club, and I just was like I'm not doing any social media. I'm just gonna stay here because we had just finished a bunch of coffee collabs, and I just was like I just want to be in the hood and serve coffee. And I did that, and I was telling the whole you know coffee is stolen from Africa, 1616 by the Dutch, 200 billion dollar industry. Black people make less than five percent of the money in this thing. What if we re-engage with it? Self-imposed reparations, generational wealth, uh, connect with our heritage. I did that whole thing, um, and every time I did it, like homies would be like, dudes would be like, yo, like, so have you been yet? And I'd be like, nah. Ethiopian coffee is a gateway drug. The coffee plant was stolen from Africa in 1616 by two Dutch spies. Three years later, the first stolen bodies landed in Jamestown, Virginia. All right. I'm give you a cheerleader clap. <laughs> I used to be a cheerleader in college. Did you? I did. Oh, wow. Scholarship and everything. Hey. Randomly. <laughs> okay. So my name is Renata Henderson. I am the chief operation officer. I'm the head roaster. I'm the graphic designer. <laughs> I'm HR. Uh, I, I wear many hats in a coffee play. How did you get involved with coffee play? Well, I'm married to Mr. Coffee Black. So the way that I got involved in Coffee Black, my husband, when we met, was already doing the music side of Coffee Black. So he was making, you know, he had the albums, he had the EPs. Uh, we were selling merch. I was making merch then. Our first, one of our first interactions with each other when we were dating was I sang on a song that he made about coffee. <laughs> So we've been about this since the beginning. And then our first year of marriage for Christmas, I bought him an espresso machine. And I think that just kind of gave him the green light to say, oh, I'm, I'm hopping into this. Like, I, this is about to be a thing. Yeah, Coffee Black. Is that the name of the documentary? I don't know. Like, it just was kind of a bar. So we ran with it. Coffee Black to Africa. Yeah. Yeah, my name is Bartholomew Jones. I'm an educator. I'm an MC, And I'm a coffee nerd. Dad of three kids. You know what I mean? Known to kick a freestyle while I'm making a pour over on a regular at the anti gentrification coffee club you know that's what we do the key no i spit it and i stay with those mississippi river flows Put up in the motherland with the old wood gun.